Virgos! Welcome to your weekly love reading, August 2nd to the 11th for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, Virgos, so for um, people who have been with me for a while, um, newbies, you wouldn't be aware of this, but for people who have been with me for a while, I would usually do a meditative session and the pre-shuffle before going ahead and getting into the reading. I decided not to do the pre-shuffle anymore just because it does take up a lot of time, and you know my readings are long anyway, <laughs> um, but I will still go over the meditative session. So Virgos, your energy is a little interesting during this time in August. This could be energy that you that's coming from you or just energy in your energy field coming from people around you. I heard fend for yourself. <laughs> I do have a lot of feistiness, Virgo. I'm just gonna, it's just an energy I'm picking up. So again, it could be you or someone that you're connected with. But Virgos, I'm just gonna say it's you for the time being. If you know it's someone else, you know it's someone else. You know your life better than I do on a personal level, okay? This is a general read. Virgos, a lot of feistiness, a lot of heated energy, a lot of pissed offness. Yeah, that's a new term I'm using, a lot of pissed offness here. And fend for yourself. Um, Virgos, you could have been taking care of somebody or trying to be there for somebody in a supportive way, or someone could be coming to you asking for a favor, and you're just over it. You're just over it. Fend for yourself, self, yourself, yourself. Fend for yourself, help yourself. You know, it's it's very pissed off, very pissed off kind of energy. You're just done with it. You're done with it. I also heard I'm not playing that game. I'm not, yeah, I'm not playing that game. A lot of you are really done with people trying to take advantage of you. Um, and Virgos, I think you've done a lot of work this year to get over that sort of um, issue or over that wound that a lot of you have been carrying because you guys are very sweet. You guys do love to take care of people, but you're done taking care of people who don't deserve it right very much so i'm also getting an energy of like grudge like someone's holding on to a lot of bitter heartache a lot of bitter heartache i do feel a little bit of divorcee widower energy not necessarily it's like it's very it feels like very queen of swords i won't be surprised if that comes out but someone's holding on to shit someone's holding on to some bitter ass shit and that's never good i don't think it's you virgo like not being all being very honest here i don't think it's you i think it's someone you're connected to um it could be a family member a friend a lover past lover even but someone's holding on to heartache they can't get they can't get over it they're not letting it go they're not letting it go um virgos you might get word of this yeah if you're not immediately aware of it or if you're not communicating with this person you're gonna get word of this and then if it's that's the scenario for you i feel like it's someone you were romantically involved with and they're very pissed off about it they're very pissed off about it. They can't let it go. And you, I think you're kind of surprised by hearing about this. Again, for those who don't immediately know, if you don't immediately know who this person is or, you know, know of this certain bitterness and heartache, it's definitely a past lover and you're finding out about it. They might even be talking shit, Virgo, to be honest with you. Oh, okay. They might even be talking shit about you. They just can't get over it. They were very disappointed. They're very heartbroken. I do feel like their expectations, though, were a little what i'm looking for misconstrued misconstrued their expectations are very misconstrued and they just they just can't deal they just can't deal but virgo that's not your problem okay if they had re unrealistic expectations of you that's on them that's not on you okay all right so let's go ahead and get into your reading here i do feel a lot of needing to protect yourself right now virgo so excuse me just make sure you're doing that I'm getting a lot of jealousy towards you now all of a sudden. Jealousy just came in here. Uh, make sure that you're using black tourmaline uh, for that if you know that that's what's going on in your life, especially if you're successful, if you know you're successful, or if you've left some people in the dust. Um, make sure you protect yourself because that jealousy feels real, especially for anybody who has that bitter person. And it does feel like a feminine energy that feels very bitter about something, okay? Any messages for Virgo? regarding love august 2nd to the 11th yeah you're you're all about loving on yourself and not giving a whole lot to other people right now because you're just realizing a lot of people in your life don't deserve it they don't deserve it a lot of people are realizing that now with this leo energy a lot of people are coming to that realization with leo energy right now any messages for virgo regarding love august 2nd to the 11th Any messages for Virgo regarding love, August 2nd to the 11th? Oh boy, what do we got here? We have the Hanged Man, Piscean Energy, with Eight of Cups, more Piscean Energy. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's the Seven. That's not the Eight, that's the Seven. Tells me the Eight is probably right behind it. Uh, seven of Cups, a lot of options here, a lot of options. And then we have Justice in Reverse, Libra Energy. Oh, Virgo. Oh boy. 
Virgo, I feel like you are spending some time in contemplation about an injustice that's been that's happened. And I feel like that's you getting a little feisty. Okay, getting a little feisty, you're done with the bullshit, you're done with people doing you wrong. And with the Seven of Cups, you have a lot of options here on how to deal with this injustice. I do feel like there's one injustice being highlighted for you. Could even be legal and you could be discussing legal options on how to go about it. Yeah, some of you, yeah, some of you are talking to a lawyer for sure. Yeah, for sure. Some of you are talking to a lawyer about your options on how to deal with this issue. I am getting major injustice. <coughs> Sorry guys, hold on. Mm. Oh, my allergies are terrible right now. Always makes my cough really bad. <coughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, I do feel like some of you are talking to a lawyer <clears throat> about what legal action you can take and all your options on what to do about this situation. Mm. Virgo, so I just heard attack. I just heard attack. Someone might be coming after you legally. If they are, I don't feel like they have a case. To be honest, I don't feel like they have a case at all. <laughs> just heard illusionary. Wow. Okay. Someone's a little delusional <clears throat> about what case they might have. Any other messages for Virgos regarding love? I guess second to the 11th. Any other messages for Virgos regarding love, August 2nd to the 11th? Try to stay grounded right now, Virgo, especially because you do feel a little feisty. If you have to go to court, that's going to work against you, so just be mindful of that. Four Swords, Libra Energy, the Minor Arcana to the Major, which is the Hermit, which is your energy. So I'm not surprised this came out for you. It is funny I was getting meditation because this is meditative energy for me as a reader, trying to protect yourself. I always feel a lot of protection with this particular Four of Swords in this deck. I'm using Spellcaster's deck for anybody who'd like to purchase it. Link is below. Um, trying to get answers. You want answers on a way out, on a way out of this. This is something unexpected that you just like, <coughs> God damn it. <coughs> that you just feel like you don't have time for. I'm so sorry, guys. I need a little more, more water. Mm. Mm. Virgos, I think someone's trying to silence you. <clears throat> I feel like someone's trying to silence you. Mm. I'm getting rumors too for some. Wow. Virgos, what the hell? Who's coming after you? Who's fucking with you? Who's four swords? I do feel like you're isolating yourself. And that's okay if you need to take some time to deal with the situation, to de stress, meditate, to try to get your answers. And also, again, this is an energy of protecting yourself protecting yourself but i do feel virgos that someone is trying to silence you someone's trying to silence the truth someone thinks they got a case they can take it to court for and they don't but i do feel like you're looking at your options on how to protect yourself especially if you're dealing with some legal issues i'm hearing slander as well slander overall energy we have tower in reverse oh shit scorpionic energy could also be aries because this is mars influence this tower feels very recent feels very fresh it feels very fresh. I'm actually seeing smoke. The tower like just fell for a lot of you. It just fell. And I do feel like it's being brought in by this person. By this person who's trying to silence you. The person who's bringing in this injustice, whatever this injustice is, Virgo. Yeah, it's fresh. It's quite fresh. And for you, very unexpected. Very unexpected. So getting into this energy a little bit more, let's unpack it. We have the hangman. <clears throat> seven of cups and justice in reverse this is you trying to figure your shit out be going within trying to figure your shit out trying to find balance and also getting more grounded with yourself and trying to get answers from spirit for some of you who are very who are more on the spiritual side or those who are light workers trying to figure out your options regarding this injustice so let's look at justice in reverse <clears throat> see what this injustice is about uh, i'm gonna use right away to clarify Be very careful with your words, Virgo. Be very careful with your words with whoever this is. They could be recording conversations. They could be recording conversations. Um, they could even be like, I'm getting like collecting like digital stuff, like digitally collecting stuff. Tell me about justice in reverse. Oh, protect your computer. <sighs> protect your computer. Please protect your computer, especially if you're going through some legal shit, okay? Tell me about justice in reverse. For Virgo regarding love, August 2nd to the 11th. Some of you are thinking about getting a divorce. 
some are definitely you some of you are thinking about taking someone to court for a divorce or to just to protect yourself like a preemptive strike but the towers already fell towers already fell so now you're in a position position of i need to deal with this tell me about justice in reverse for virgo regarding love august 2nd to the 11th Tell me about justice in reverse for Virgo regarding love, August 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about justice in reverse for Virgo. Hold on. What is this? I've got cards, but I haven't seen them yet. I'm getting something about lies. I don't think this person's very, um, no, that's rude. I'm not going to say that. I don't think this person's thinking things through very well because I have this feeling of like, if they try to take you to court, they're gonna have to reveal lies of their own <laughs> if they try to take you to court. And then it's like, well, that's a moot point, but they're not even making that connection. So let's see what we have here. Ooh, strength in reverse, ace of pens. Oh my. Oh, oh, there's the jealousy. Someone's got a lot of anger, Virgo. Someone's got a lot of jealousy. We have Strength in Reverse, Leo Energy, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Gemini Energy, could also be Air or Fire, Seven of Cups, Call, making a call. I feel like this is you, Virgo, making a call. Uh, Seven of Cups is Scorpionic Energy. I feel like this is you going out, trying to figure out what, exactly what your options are. Making a call, making a call, making a call. A beacon. You might even be calling for help from a, from multiple people against this person, against this person. Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water. Someone who's very jealous, very jealous and very slighted. Someone feels very slighted. Moon, Piscean energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader. And then we have Knight of, not Knight, excuse me, King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy, also Gemini or Libra. They don't have to be the signs, just energy, right? With the moon and this King of Swords in reverse, I'm feeling a hidden character here. Feeling a hidden character. Someone's in the background that you don't know about, Virgo. Someone's in the background that you don't know about. Someone who's manipulative. Wow, Virgo, this is interesting. Whoever this is, I feel like they're manipulating this Queen of Wands. Whoever this King of Swords is in the background that's hidden from you is manipulating this Queen of Wands who's getting jealous and more jealous and more jealous and more jealous almost like pushing them to come after you. Your true, your true villain, for lack of a better word, is this King of Swords. That's your true villain here. They're pulling the puppet strings on this Queen of Wands, manipulating this Queen of Wands. I'm also getting some mental illness here, so be careful of that. Like they're intentionally trying to make this Queen of Wands jealous enough to come after you. Jesus, wow. That's really unfortunate. Let's see what else we get and we'll get more into these cards. Tell me about justice in reverse. Tell me about justice in reverse for Virgo. Regarding love. Like this Queen of Wands had jealousy already, but this King of Swords kind of saw an opportunity and now they're pulling the puppet strings on the Queen of Wands. Tell me about justice in reverse. I do feel like it's to get like a payout or a lump sum. Wow, Five of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, Loss and Sadness. I'm getting that heartbreak energy I was sensing in the uh, meditative session. Overall energy for Justice in Reverse. We have Four of Cups, Cancerian Energy. I do feel rejection here. Virgo, you might have rejected something or not looked at something. Not looked at something. You didn't look at something or you rejected something that I feel like came from this Queen of Wands energy. And whoever this King of Swords is to this Queen of Wands, they were bit... <laughs> Look at me. I'm getting all upset for you. They were bitching. <laughs> they were bitching about this. And what you didn't know about is that this King of Swords took took an opportunity. They saw how pissed off this Queen of Wands is, how jealous they are of you. Oh, all of that nonsense. I'm, I'm saying nonsense because I feel like a lot of it is just... Oh, it's illusionary. I hate to say that. I hate saying that because I don't ever want to discount someone's feelings, but that is exactly what I'm getting. And this King of Swords saw an opportunity like, oh, let me poke the bear. Let me poke the bear and maybe I can get something out of this. That's kind of how it feels. Maybe I can get something out of this. If I piss off the Queen of Wands enough to come after Virgo, which you're, you're going into major action mode, by the way, 
if I can piss off the Queen of Wands enough, get the Queen of Wands jealous enough of Virgo, they'll go after Virgo and maybe I can get something out of it. Maybe I can get something out of it. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. And it's all because uh, this Queen of Wands feels slighted by you in some way, Virgo, but instantly you're going into major action mode, trying to figure out exactly what your options are. You're not putting up with it. You're not putting up with it, okay? And we still have this strength. Oh, this strength card with the Ace of Pentacles, Virgo. I feel like you've done very well for yourself. I feel like you're in a very good place. And then you just kind of get blindsided by this tower, okay? And with Strength in the Verse, it's telling me that you need to have a lot of courage in the, in the face of this. And I don't think that you're lacking that. I don't think you're lacking that, but it does. I do feel panic behind it. I do feel panic. So that's why I'm saying just be grounded. Just be grounded because that panic won't serve you well. That panic won't serve you well in this situation. I'm also getting that someone is really looking at a money situation here and I don't feel like it's you. I actually feel like it's coming from this King of Swords that's pulling on the puppet strings of this Queen of Wands. Virgo, be very mindful of you. Be very mindful because this Queen of Wands might come after you in a legal way. They don't have a case, but in a legal way because this King of Swords sees an opportunity to get a lump sum of some kind. If I push the Queen of Wands long enough, if I keep making them jealous over the Virgo or show them, you know, what's going on with Virgo, they're going to get more and more jealous. And maybe I can get them to go to court and maybe I can get part of that money. You know, it, it's kind of an energy like that. Yeah, there's a manipulator behind this Queen of Wands that you don't have any idea about. This King of, this King of Swords is really bothering me, actually. Before we go into this Four of Swords, I want to look at this King of Swords a little bit more. Um, where's my Kipper deck? Oh, there it is. Let's see what else we can figure out here. Tell me how this King of Swords in reverse is. Tell me this King of Swords in reverse. Tell me how this King of Swords in reverse is for Virgo. August 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about this King of Swords in reverse. Who is this King of Swords? A child. Oh my. 18 breaking down to a 9. This could be a child of the Queen of Wands or it could be a family member of the Queen of Wands. But child also tells me that they have very naive... Uh, thinking oh underdeveloped oh this is interesting yeah they don't think things through <laughs> they don't think things through they act very childish and very naively they're like poking this queen of wands thinking we'll just take them to court and we'll just get money but if you don't have a case you're not going to get any money you're going to lose money right they're not even thinking that far ahead that's why they're also king of swords in a verse a king of swords upright knows how to handle shit right? They're very, they're usually very intelligent. They know how to strategize. King of Swords in reverse doesn't. They don't have a whole lot of control over themselves. Tell me more about this King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this could be a parent child coming after you, like someone being, manipula being manipulated by their child or their parent to come after you, Virgo. Tell me about the King of Swords in reverse. Oh, Oy. Not taking those. Those didn't feel right. Don't know what they were, but they didn't feel right. Tell me more about this King of Swords in reverse and who they are for Virgo. All right, let's see if we can get any other cards. Last attempt. Tell me about King of Swords in reverse for Virgo. Tell me about King of Swords in reverse for Virgo. Wow, that's it. On the bottom, yeah. Yeah, look at that shit. Bad health. 31 bringing down to four. This is a really mentally unhealthy situation. I feel like one of these two, I feel like it's the Queen of Wands, has a little bit of a mental illness issue. This King of Swords knows it and they're using it to their advantage to try and come after you, Virgo, to get a payout. That's exactly how this feels. I know this feels really specific, so this is not going to be for everybody. Just be very mindful, okay? This is a very unhealthy situation. Definitely the Queen of Wands in reverse has a little bit of a mental health issue. Um, either way, it's, it's no bueno. This shit ain't good. This shit is not good. Mm. Like I said, be very careful and mindful of your electronics. Especially if this has already transpired for you and it is a legal situation for you. Be very mindful, okay? So let's go into the Four of Swords. Let's go into the Four of Swords energy. Uh, let's use Gilded. Let's use Gilded. Tell me about the Four of Swords. For Virgo. Regarding love. August 2nd to the 11th. <clears throat> Tell 
Tell me about Four of Swords for Virgo. Regarding love, August 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about Four of Swords for Virgo. Regarding love, August 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about Four of Swords for Virgo. Wow, High Priestess, Piscean Energy, also Gemini. For me as a reader, a lot of intuitive hits. You're getting a lot of knowledge here, Virgo. And it's through your intuition. It's through your intuition. A lot of you, it's also through meditation. I'm also getting dreams as well. Dreams. You're, you might even get word of this before it actually happens if you're meditating a lot or if you're paying attention to messages that you're getting. <clears throat> 555 is going to be big for you. Tell me about Four of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Reevaluation. Taurus energy. This is usually about like blueprint card energy for me, being on your path, heading in the right direction. But I'm getting reevaluation. Whatever messages or downloads you're getting for, through intuition or your dream space, it's making you reevaluate. You're like, something's not right. Something's not right. Something doesn't feel right. I know something's not right. And then the tower just might come in the second you're coming to that realization. <clears throat> Tell me about Four of Swords. Also reevaluating where to go from here after this tower comes in. But like I said, if someone tries to take you to court, they don't have a case. They don't have a case. Tell me about Four of Swords. So Virgo, just stay calm. Some of you, are, some of you I can feel it, are going to be very upset. Stay calm and seek out your options, okay? You'll get the answer. Tell me about Four of Swords. Wow, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this is an opportunity you rejected. You're wondering if it was a mistake to do so. Should I have looked at that a little closer? Should I have looked at that a little closer? Should I have taken it seriously? There we go. Should I have taken it seriously? Should I have taken it seriously? Only you know that answer, Virgo. Like I said, I feel a lot of manipulation going on between this Queen of Wands and King of Swords, all in an effort to come after you. Mm. You know your situation best. I'm inclined to say no. It's okay to reevaluate, but I'm inclined to say <clears throat> you made the right decision. Just because other people were upset about it, that's not your fault. Tell me about Four of Swords. Wow, drama. Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. A lot of drama. I'm getting more of that panic. Just stay calm, Virgo. Stay calm. Tell me about Four of Swords. You're going to be okay. Like I said, you did the right thing. It's very clear there's manipulation coming from these two. You did the right thing, so just protect yourself. Tell me about Four of Swords. Tell me about Four of Swords for Virgo. Regarding love, August 2nd to the 11th. Now we have a King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. Yeah, I'm getting greed. Greed. Drama over money. Drama over money. Virgo, this situation is really making you feel a little chaotic inside and making you more and more agitated as time goes on once you're having to deal with this. Because like I said, it feels unexpected. Some of you might get intuitive hits because you might be meditating a lot or just paying attention to messages you're getting, but not all of you are going to get that warning or see that warning and then it's just going to happen and you're just going to have to deal with it, unfortunately. And it's going to really throw you for a loop, but don't let it. Don't let it. The more chaotic you feel inside about this <clears throat> and the more ungrounded you are, the harder it is it's going to be to deal with. But it's drama from people who are very unhealthy, people who are... I hate to say it just not not the brightest bulbs you know they think they can get money out of you just because they can take you to court anyone can take anyone to court doesn't mean you're getting money you know <laughs> if you don't have a case you don't have a case but that's what i'm getting here i'm just getting drama over money overall energy for the four of swords we actually have four of swords in reverse labor energy this is something that you really need to do virgo you need to find the calm because you're not calm you need to get grounded because you are not grounded when this happens and you need to do that to get the clarity you need to handle this situation and to get whatever options you need to get uh, or explore options that you need to explore underneath that we do have seven of wands which is leo energy protecting yourself and defending yourself you need to you need to protect yourself in this situation and you will 
You will. Don't get too upset, Virgo. I know some of you are a little nervous about this message I'm giving you, but this is something that you kind of would already have an inkling about with this Queen of Wands. Because this Queen of Wands proposed something to you that you passed up or that you just didn't take seriously. That's what this is coming from. So think back, Virgo, if you're feeling like this is resonating with you or if you're, <clears throat> or if you're getting that intuitive sensation of like, shit, I need to pay attention to this. It's a Queen of Wands energy who, like, like I said, is suffering a little bit of mental illness, just a little bit, a touch, a touch of mental illness, um, who proposed something to you, you didn't take it seriously, or you just flat out rejected it. And there's a King of Swords in the background that you don't know about that's manipulating this person, okay? And with that Five of Cups, I do feel it's there's depression here, and that someone, I do feel like it's this Queen of Wands, is clinging on to heartbreak and disappointment that they felt when you passed up this offer or didn't take this offer seriously. So just be mindful of that, okay? All right, so let's get some advice. Let's get some advice. Any advice for my Virgos? But your intuition's gonna be the answer, Virgo, okay? intuition and definitely calling for help <laughs> definitely calling in the cavalry 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 it's a hard word for me to say any advice for my virgos regarding this spread any advice for my virgos regarding this spread any advice for my virgos regarding this spread Let's see here yeah wow groundhog spirit time to let go 31 breaking down to four virgos you might feel like you have to give up something in this situation if you do i don't feel like it's going to be anything that is substantial to your life it might be a little bit of peace of mind it might be some of your time it might literally just be some of your time just let it go let it go let it ride this person like i said is being manipulated by a king of swords energy that you were not aware of until this comes to light for you and it's going to be hard just let it go you know like don't take it home with you i know it's hard to say right like how could you not take it personally and not take it home with you they're coming after you right what i mean by that is deal with the situation ground yourself emotionally deal with it do a little healing if you have to meditate on it then handle it and once you handle it then just let it go once you handle it just let it go any other advice this person also needs to let some shit go this queen of wands I do feel like they would benefit from some therapy as well. And definitely getting away from this King of Swords. I know that you weren't aware of this King of Swords until now. But whoever this King of... And you probably don't even want to talk to the Queen of Wands. And I don't blame you. But if we have any Queen of Wands in a verse watching, I don't mean to be offensive. I'm just the messenger. I just provide the messages. Queen of Wands in a verse, people who are watching. You got to get away from this King of Swords in a verse. They're messing with you. They're manipulating you. You got to let that person go. Even if you depend on them. I actually feel like some of them are watching. So my Queen of Wands in a verse who are watching me, who I, ju I just heard your response to that. Um, if you depend on them, I get it. You still got to let them go. They're manipulating you. They're manipulating you. Who wants to be manipulated? Let's see here. Wow. Dove spirit be peace. 21 breaking down to a three. I feel like this is about internal peace. Peace of the mind, quiet of the mind is also what I'm getting. I feel like some people here are very over analytical. And Virgos, like I said, this is going to be very upsetting for you. So just make sure that you're calming yourself and you are clearing your mind and you are you, <clears throat> excuse me, and you are going into a meditative state on this because it is where you're going to get your answers here. But to have sanity again, just deal with the situation, handle it the best you can. And once it's done, just let it go. Just release it like it never happened. Okay. This Queen of Wands definitely needs to do that too. Again, my Queen of Wands are watching because I felt you. Yeah. I felt you watching. Um, you might feel slighted by the Virgo. I I don't know what offer they rejected or what offer they didn't take seriously. Um, but it's time to let this go. It's not worth it to hold on to it. It's not worth it to come after Virgo. That's not going to... Vin, being vindictive or vengeful is not going to do anything. Yeah, for anyone who's coming after the Virgo here or coming after the Knight of Swords who's going to protect themselves, even if it is legally... <clears throat> I just heard restraint order. Yeah, I just heard restraining order. Um, 
for very few of you. For my Virgos, very, very few of you are going to need a restraining order, but if you feel that's going to help, do it. <laughs> no reason not to, right? Because your peace of mind is what matters here. But to my Queen of Wands and my King of Swords also, I don't think any King of Swords are watching. I don't think they're very spiritual people, whoever these King of Swords are, but you all need to let shit go. Sorry. People are going to upset you. People are going disappoint to disappoint you. It's up to you how you handle it. You want to come after someone with a case that you don't have? That's on you. That's on you and the karma that you're racking up, okay? You're the one who clearly doesn't have peace of mind. So why are you messing with other people just because you don't have peace of mind? Go get your peace of mind. That's on you to do, not on anyone else to provide. Sorry. Went to mama bear mode for a second. Any other advice for Virgos? Regarding this spread. Any other advice for Virgos? Regarding this spread. Any other advice for Virgos? Regarding this spread. Any other advice for Virgos? All right. Wow. Wow, Virgo. I love this. Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide. 32 breaking down to a five. And Rhino Spirit. Overcome any obstacle. 50 breaking down to a five. You can do this, Virgo. I know you can, you know you can, you're going to overcome this. You will overcome this. Just tap into, into, it, into your intuition. Hang with your guides a little closer. Talk to your guides more. Really meditate and really go within on this because you will get your answers that way on how to deal with the situation in the best way for you. Not to mention, it's just going to help you keep your sanity in this situation and you will overcome it. You will overcome it. Overall, we have skunk spirit, know your worth, 54, breaking down to a nine. You know, it's interesting, Virgo, because I know you know your worth. I know you already know your worth, um, which is why you're standing up for yourself. You wouldn't you wouldn't stand up for yourself if you didn't think you deserved to stand up for yourself, right? I also feel like this is where the queen of wands who are watching, because spirit knows who watches my videos, right? So that's also why I get advice for different people sometimes in readings. <clears throat> to my queen of wands and reverse people who are being manipulated by this king of swords, come back. And being talked into taking a Virgo to court or being talked into coming after a Virgo, you know better and you know that you deserve better than that. You don't deserve to be manipulated. Just like Virgo doesn't deserve you coming after them with a case you don't have, okay? I already can feel it. I do have a case. I do have a case. <laughs> they did me wrong. They did me wrong. Look, everyone's situation is different. This is a general reading, okay? This is a general reading. It ain't going to be for everybody, right? It's for people who really need to hear it. I'm talking about a Queen of Wands in reverse who's getting manipulated because this King of Swords knows. They know they can manipulate you, Queen of Wands. So stop letting them. You're gonna be a hell of a lot happier and there's no point coming in, coming after someone because you're unhappy and because someone's basically telling you to, okay? Know your own worth, make your own damn decisions, okay? All right, Virgos. <laughs> got a little intense there. I don't know why I felt very Jerry Springer-ish. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out, along with Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Bye, Virgos!